Over champagne, he tells me how he dropped to one knee. He tells me how he did everything traditionally and how the words, will you marry me, came out of his mouth so perfectly. And I am so proud of him. And now, my best friends, historically immature, my best friends are finally growing up. I just wish the same could be said for everyone. <coughs> Do you remember us? We met you outside the local pub quite late last Friday night. You were the one who'd lost your mates and stumbled into sight, but you were friendly enough. And when you pulled up a chair, we were more than happy to have you there. Do you remember when you noticed the ring? A simple silver band wrapped around the fourth finger on my friend's left hand. A promise of a future that I can't wait to witness. Is that an engagement ring? Innocent enough question, we laughed and nodded. Yes. Do you remember what happened next? Do you remember laughing and looking down your nose and saying, why on earth do you have one of those silence? Conversation stopped. All of us curious to see how long it would take for the proverbial penny to drop, you sniggered. And the laughter lingered. I mean, why would you have a ring on your engagement finger? The penny took so long to reach the ground, it started collecting interest. And by the time it hit the carpet, the penny was a pound. And the pound grew heavy with the weight of what you'd said. And the queen on the front of it shook her weary head. But you were still laughing, although nothing was funny. I felt the fight kick in, felt your words stick in me, wanted to stand up and shout that you sicken me, that you're talking about my best friends who through thick and thin keep me afloat, but I didn't want to step on their toes so I sat on my words. I didn't want to rock the boat so we avoided the issue. But somehow the awkwardness seemed to entirely miss you. There was an elephant filling the room but you were unaware of this, you didn't even notice, not even the remotest hint of an acknowledgement of this. However often it happens, it never fails to shock me that in this day and age, people like you never see the errors of your ways. No, it wasn't a mistake. No, it's not new age. No, it's not on the wrong finger. And no, she didn't propose. No, it's none of those. Think about it. I won't spell it out for you. Eventually it will come to you and when it does, I hope it humbles you. I hope it trips you up and stumbles you. I hope it refreshes your memory and tumbles you head first into the 21st century. My best friends are engaged and I am so proud of them. He will make the most amazing husband and so will he. <laughs> Juge choqué. On a un 8,1, un 8,5, un 9,4, un 9,5 et un 9,7. Applaudissez pas, s'il vous plaît.